hi guys welcome to my channel how are you of so today's discussion about the selection of filler wire what is the basic requirement how we will select the filler product in which basis so we need to check today what are the objective of the selection of filler purpose learn about filler wire and their selection so we will learn the how to select the filler wire and uh, and and the outcome is learn about ASME section 9 table QW422 we need to learn learn to find the F, F number how we can find the F number chemical composition is the very important things about the chemical composition when you are choosing the filler metal it should be it should be checked the base metal chemical composition and the filler metal chemical composition it should be in the equivalent finding sfa number and detail how we can find the sfa number and details knowledge about the asme section to part c i already given one the uh, general idea in the previous video the asme section to part c and manual books of brand So introduction to the a filler metal is a metal added in the making of joint during welding bridging and soldering so what is the filler metal filler metal is a metal there is a it is a metal when we are doing the welding there is the arc is created and the filler metal is adding in the arc uh, adding in then that time the arc created created and the heat is heat is heat input is created and the, it is melted the filler metal and it comes under it comes a joint it is called the welding maybe bridging or maybe soldiering so what is the reference you can prefer ask me section 9 definition filler wire is in oil and particle form so it is on oil and the particle form difference between filler wire and electrode what is the we can you can use the other term the filler wire and we are sometimes you can tell that it's electrode so what is the filler wires can be divided into two designation one is mandatory classification de designator and the opt optional supplementary designator what is this mandatory classification designator and the optional so we'll go to the next page you'll see the e just x x are uh, you can under 70 just you can assume 70 and yy is 18 okay so e means that is designation designate an electrode 70 designate the tensile strength minimum in ksi so xs is designated the tensile strength yy its designation the welding position which the electrode are usable which position you can do the welding is particular for this electrode aim what is aim aim is designated and it designates an electrode e 708 m intended to meet most military requirement greater notch toughness lower moisture content as received and after exposure so this is the lower impact requirement the notch toughness is a requirement that's why we call it to put here aim with minus one what is minus one Designate that electrode 7096, 7098, and 7024 meets the requirement for improved notch toughness. is minus 10 degree centigrade. It's there is a 27 joules. Minus 1 means minus 10 degree, 27 joule. Minus 2 means minus 20 degree is maybe 27 or 40 joules. So we need to check you can it is mentioned in the SME section to part C. Which what are the impact notch toughness is requirement in which temperature? What is aged? Aged designate that electrode meets the requirement of the diffusible hydrogen test. So if it is mentioned the aged, so there is need the hydrogen diffusible hydrogen test because in how many how much hydrogen is there, so it cannot affect the uh, uh, which electrode we can use for that particular but uh, which base metal or which electrode can be used for you can check as per the in 100 gram old metal how much diffusible hydrogen is there r means designate that electrode meets that requirement of the absorb moisture test so if it is r means there is the absorb moisture test is requirement 
so this is the one is the optional supplementary designator and this is a mandatory classification designator so this is the different and this is the particular each one have the designate examples for selection of filler wire how you selection filler wire you just assume the base metal is sf335 welding process is gtaw filler wire how do you how we can select the filler wire for this particular base metal referring as me section 9 table qw422 we will find where does this material so we need to find this material is where in the qw422 in grade lies and find this grade p number chemical composition so you go this one qw422 you see here is a 335 okay so this is sa 335 okay you have you can see here sa 335 this is the p22 grade and k21590 uns number 60 is the ksi and the group number is one and the nominal nominal composition 2.25 chromium one molybdenum so this is our material details material composition material which grade is coming so we can find out first the qw422 what are when where the metal is coming then we go the ashmi section to part c what is this material this is p22 material okay then this is the lower alloy steel so we have to check ashmi section 2c where is the lower alloy steel electrode you see here sfe 5.8 sfa 5.28 5.28 even the low alloy steel electrode and rods for gas steel dark welding okay so this is we can select the sfb 5.28 m okay so this is for you have so you can see the 5.23 5.23 mm but you have you can see here you can see here on one minute i will tell you sf335 and you are using the custom stone third coding so you see here SF 5.28 low alloy steel electrode and rods for gas shielded arc welding. So you have to find out this electrode. You have to find out SF 5.28 and SF 5.28 electrode is the correct electrode for this base metal. So which can you like which electrode you can use? Then it's a base metal base metal for test assembly. So ER. 80s, ARs, ATC, AR90s, and if it is a 5.28M, the A5.28, ER55, the ER55C, ER62S, ER62C. So, how can I choose this material? Now, there is so many uh, electrode is there. So, we have to check the chemical composition, and that chemical composition it should be equivalent to the base metal. So, this is the same. This is the same page. So this is A387 grade 22. So grade 22 you are using and the A387 335 is the more it should be always the more grade more than the grade, uh, grade is more than the your base metal base filler metal. So always use. Okay, so it is it is now you understand that from from where we can get the selection of the filler wire. Right? SA335 and GTW using so we have to go directly QW422 and there is a material gate is there P22 material is the low alloy steel electrode. If you go the low alloy steel electrode here in the section two part C 5.28 5.28 M you see the gas filter article so we can use this material this electrode and in sap 5.28 how many electrode is coming you see er 55 er 55 this is the table 6 base metal for test assemblies then the base metal is a387 grade 22 so this is the selection of filler wire for sa335 we'll go another example you see this is we can use the uh, carbon silicon manganese chromium molybdenum so you have to check carbon silicon manganese 0.6 chromium one the so it should be in the shame of the base metal composition now material grid is another of them tp3 zero for this and the material welding process is gtaw and the filler wire which filler wire we have to use see is a 213 that is mentioned 3p304 l and 70 ksi 485 is mpa and the group number one and p number eight okay so we need to check the in ASME section to part C 
which metal is comes under this TP304 the stainless steel metal in GTAW electron. So you can see here BR stainless steel welding electrodes and rods is SFF 5.9 and 5.9 M. Okay, so we have to use this electrode for a particular for this material grid. Okay, now you see ER308L in the 0 19 to 22 point is the chromium, 9.21.11 is nickel, and 0 0.03 percent is carbon, carbon. So, this is the chemical composition. So you have to choose from here the base metal, then you have to choose the pillar metal as mix X into part C in which grade is coming, and after that you have to go the chemical composition of the uh, filler metal and in filler metal in the how to select it, suggested electrode. Wow, how to select suggest the electrode in the you see A213. This is the H team specification H213. We can use the LH90MR jet is the suggested electrode. This is the chemical composition carbon, silicon, manganese, chromium, nickel, molybdenum. So we have to check this base metal and the our 304. Always you have to use, you can use if you use the 304L in your base metal, always you, you have to 308L is the better one because this is the higher grade. So you have to choose the higher grade, the equivalent or higher grade you can use for this uh, uh, filler metal. Index to electrode groups, how to index? The first fridge group, 7010, 7010, 7010, this is organic. And the rutile, if it's 7024, 6024, 6027, it's a rutile approx 550% iron per hour, AC or DC. Or the fill fridge group, this is E7018, 7013. Okay, the low hydrogen to 7018. The low hydrogen group with first filler characteristic 7028, the alloys group with fill fridge characteristic 7018. So this is the index to filler group. So we have to we have to remember we have to learn that which which group is comes which electrode. So what are the now conclusion? Selection of all filler wire depends on welding process, base metal, specific filler analysis, and joints. So how selection of filler wire it depends on welding process which welding process we are using this is gtw or gmw or smw base metal which base metal in that base metal we have to selection the sfa specific filler analysis which it comes under as me section to part c and the joints definitely the joints which which joints is comes under which process it will be it will be done by as per wps in the reference is as me section 9 and as me section part c, part c okay thank you for watching i think everybody got it uh, from the from the beginning of the page so everybody understand uh, how we can choose the filler metal from the base uh, depends uh, uh, as per the base metal okay thank you for watching okay bye bye